Hello and welcome to Gemini. In this video tutorial, we will be discussing how to use the Gemini mobile app and its features. First, the Gemini mobile app is not a standalone app. Gemini mobile is designed to work in conjunction with the full site and is essentially a video assignment player. An active Gemini membership is required to use the app. Let's begin with how to sign into Gemini mobile. When you register with Gemini, two different types of accounts are assigned to you. One is a managing account. This account is meant for you, the parent, teacher, or therapist to use. The second is a student account. Each child you register receives their own student account and login. The student account is designed strictly for the student to watch their assigned Gemini videos. To sign into the Gemini mobile app, you will use your managing or student account login information. If signing in with your managing account, only the first student account in alphabetical order appears. To change the student account, click the orange student button, then select the desired student. For clinicians and teachers, we recommend signing in with a specific student account. This avoids students being able to change and view other accounts easily. Once signed in with a student's login, you will see a list of assignment cards. This list represents each video currently found on that student's assignment page. These assignment cards display the view count, progress percentage, which is the percentage of the completed views assigned for that video, and lastly, whether or not the video is downloaded on the device you are using. An important note is if you do not see any assignments listed after signing in, this means there are currently no videos assigned to that student. You will have to log into your managing account at Gemini.org via a web browser and take the language assessment that will automatically assign leveled videos to the student or create and assign custom video sessions. Once you have assignments in your account, go back to the Gemini mobile app and click Refresh. For help customizing and assigning videos, please go to the Parent Academy at academy.gemini.org. Now let's go over how to play and download a video. To play a video, simply click on the assignment card of the video you'd like to watch, and then click Play. If connected to the internet, all videos listed will play. To play offline, you will need to download each video first while still connected to the internet. Once downloaded, the video will be accessible in the car, on the bus, at the grocery store, anywhere where internet service is poor or not available. To download a video session, click on the video's assignment card, then click Download. Once it is finished downloading, you should see Yes appear by Downloaded on the assignment card. Once Yes appears, that video title is available to watch offline. Did you know that you can create a playlist with your downloaded videos? Creating a playlist is a great feature to use when you want multiple videos to automatically play one after the other. This comes in handy for so many situations. Like if you're watching two different Quick Start videos daily, say a level three language pyramid video and an early education, early math skills video. Or if you are going on a long road trip and wanna have 10 titles continuously looping during the drive. Playlists are a great way to play video from multiple content areas with a single click. To create a playlist, you must first download the video. Once downloaded, click the assignment card and then click Playlist. This will add that title to the playlist. To view what is in your playlist, click Playlist, found at the very top of your assignments list. The order the videos are listed is the order they will play. To reorder them, click the three lines to the left of a video title and drag the video to where you'd like it to fall. You can also delete titles from your playlist by clicking the trash can icon off to the right of the title. To calculate the length of time it will take to get through the playlist, Simply add up the duration for all of the titles. Have you also heard about the app switch feature? 
For those with multiple students sharing a device, using Gemini's switch feature makes continually logging in and logging out a thing of the past. Once logged into a student account, add a new student to the same device, clicking the three lines at the top and to the right. Then click Log In New User. Fill in their username and password and log in. You can repeat this for every student sharing this device. After students are signed in, you can switch between them by clicking the three lines at the top right and selecting Switch User and choosing the correct student name. No more logging in and out every time, just switch. This is a great time saver. Utilizing the Gemini mobile app just made fitting Gemini into your daily routine that much easier. To learn more about additional features and tips when using Gemini, visit our support page or go to our free online training academies at academy.gemini.org. From all of us here at Gemini, thank you for watching.